and hello from Florence now I am actually just outside of Florence this is called the Viale Galileo and it's uh, it's the main road that goes up the hills around Florence uh, on the south side and you get amazing views of the city from here actually uh, you can't see it now because I'm the opposite side but basically behind here you can see all of the city with the Palazzo Vecchio and the Duomo and everything and I'm gonna show you a few pictures taken uh, along the road here but right now I am enjoying the weather here and I'm going towards Forte Belvedere which is another viewpoint of Florence and I want to check the views from there to decide whether I want to shoot sunset from there because I went to shoot from Piazzale Michelangelo in the past days and these are a couple of pictures that I shot from there very nice sunset a good alignment of the sun just above Ponte Vecchio really 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 amazing now so the big surprise is that I'm here in Florence with a new camera one that has not been released at the moment of recording this video because Fujifilm have been kind enough to let me test the GFX 50S Mark II for a month or just less than a month actually and I had already planned my trip to Florence and so I asked them if I could bring the camera with me here and they said yes which is great Salve <laughs> uh, nice dogs nice dogs anyway so let's restart about the let's restart the story about the camera so Fujifilm have been kind enough to let me uh, try and test this GFX 50S Mark II before it gets released to the public and this video is not sponsored by Fujifilm and the Fujifilm don't have any say about this video and they didn't even ask to ask me to shoot this video the, all they asked was to write a blog post about the camera uh, so all the content of this video is not related to anything any collaboration with Fujifilm but I'm still gonna talk about the camera because now I've been using it for the past three weeks even when I was in quarantine I used it from my balconies I shot time-lapse and I actually made it to the local newspaper with one photo that I took with the GFX 50S it was not a very happy photo because there was a, a big black smoke above the city because a fire was happening uh, hold on now you can see something behind me there this is where I'm going right now this is Forte Belvedere I'm gonna check the view from there so I made it to the local newspaper with that picture taken with the GFX 50S Mark II and I used it for all the panoramic shots and some street photography as well here in Florence during these past weeks and you know what I'm gonna take another picture here because this is actually very very nice and it was really really nice before this guy came in the in the frame but I actually added him maybe maybe it's interesting I don't know so the GFX 50S uh, something interesting is that when when Fujifilm contacted me and talked to me about this camera they said it would have been same as the GFX 100S I mean the same body of the GFX 100S just 50 megapixels and so I thought that would have been the same technology the same sensor and everything but actually this is the same sensor of the 50S Mark I in the GFX 100S body so it is slightly confusing because of the naming of these cameras but it's still a massive 
massive improvement on the GFX 50S. Now the GFX 50S, I used it in uh, another couple of videos that you can see linked up here or maybe here because I'm not sure where I am actually recording. Ooh, wind. And I used the GFX 50S for street photography and that was not a smart choice because that camera was really, really slow. This GFX 50S Mark II, on the other hand, is faster. So I am using it for street photography and I'm using it for landscape, cityscape, travel photography, lifestyle and everything. And so it is the same great quality of the GFX. The details, the light that the, the sensor can capture, it's just incredible really. I mean, it's, it, has to, it is to be expected because it's a medium format camera. It, it never ceases to amaze me. I mean, the quality is just incredible. I'm crossing the road and I'm, I'm gonna show you where I'm going right now. I'm going towards Forte Belvedere from Via di San Leonardo. By the way, doing this is so great as an icebreaker and even using Fujifilm is fantastic as an icebreaker because everybody wants to talk about Fujifilm. Even if they use other camera brands, they come to me and say, oh, you use Fujifilm. Oh, the colors of Fujifilm, they are so good. And then there are other Fujifilm photographers that come to me, say, oh, you're using Fujifilm. And then they see the GFX. They don't, they don't know that this is the 50S Mark II. But they come to me and they say, oh, it's a medium format camera. Oh, it's really, really good. And, and yes, it is, it is absolutely amazing. Uh, I think I'm gonna shoot a bit more from here. When you visit Florence, you probably visit the city center, and of course you do because it's magnificent, absolutely gorgeous. But I mean, look, look at how beautiful is this narrow street that goes into. Forte Belvedere. It's just incredible. Absolutely astonishing. Now let me take a few more pictures. So the road up there goes all along the ancient walls of the city, the ones that are still up. And down here we go towards the city center and that's where I'm going. That's where I will go after I finish shooting here in Forte Belvedere. And this is the entrance to uh, Forte Belvedere. There used to be an open-air cinema here and some, some exhibitions, some shows. It's a pretty spectacular place. Not the easiest to reach, but yeah, quite spectacular. And actually from behind Forte Belvedere you can go down towards the Giardino di Boboli and enter the Giardino di Boboli from uphill and go down to Palazzo Pitti from here, back into the city center. Now these steps that you see me climbing were made for carts and horses, so they would not fall, because this is actually a bit steep, and with the rain and the ice and the cold, they will become slippery, and so that's why they have this shape. And here's one of the views. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, actually, I hadn't been here for such a long time. Because this place was actually closed for quite a long time following one big incident when a young woman fell from the, from the walls and died. So I think they kept it closed for two or three years, deciding what to do with security and everything. And then of course, living in London now, 
I don't come to visit so often. Now, of course, I was straight away approached by security because you can't use anything that resembles a tripod or a selfie stick because these have been, like I was saying, I was talking about the incident. And it's actually, it actually happens more often than not that people get hurt or they harm themselves or maybe they, they lose the selfie stick or the tripod uh, falling from the walls and they injure somebody that's passing by the walls. So I got approached by security because I can't use the tripod in here in any way. But now that's it. There's some interesting noise coming from Piazzale Michelangelo. But anyway. You can actually, I asked this when I was talking with security, you can ask for permission to either the Florence Council or the Comune di Firenze or the or Florence Museums and if you're a professional photographer and you want to take professional pictures from Forte Belvedere, you can actually ask for a permit to come here with a tripod and take these pictures. But otherwise, the rule says no tripods, no selfie sticks or anything. So I'm filming this right now and I'm switching it off because I don't want to cause any trouble or find any copycat that thinks they're, that think they're, they're allowed to use selfie stick or tripods, they're not. And here we are. So this was Forte Belvedere with all the views from up the Belvedere. The, the terrace which was absolutely amazing and now I'm gonna go under the arch here all the way down towards the city center I, it might be actually a, a pointless journey but it's only to show you how beautiful is the street that goes down there because I'm saying pointless because then I am going to come back uphill to Piazzale Michelangelo for sunset. Any other, any